So we'll be uh, using these uh, testers, test sockets here. We'll have a PC board, we'll have uh, sockets on it. So I need to figure out what type of sockets that I want to put on top of these things, right? So, uh, well, there's different types of transistors, right? So some are these plastic ones and little metal ones. Uh, and then I've got some uh, TO220, here's one, TO221s. And so I need, some, I need different sockets. And so I went to the store and I did find some uh, small TO92 sockets. Uh, little bitty ones, three pin gold leads and everything. So that will work out great. They also had these, um, these are, these used to be everywhere back in the 1970s. Um, they're transistor socket as well. And uh, they're meant to solder wires onto and they're sort of panel. I'm not quite sure how you mount these. Um, they might go onto a PC board. I'm not quite sure I really like these yet. Um, but I got some of those. Um, but what I'm really, I, I think ones with pins, I think are going to be easy. It's the TO220s that are going to be hard. So um, they don't fit in normal pins and they don't fit in normal socks and everything. So I had an idea and I ordered some, <clears throat> I ordered some test sockets on um, eBay and these are for dip these are for dip devices, okay? But they're low insertion force, these are burn-in sockets. And I think, yeah, see I think, I think these will be really good for transistors, I really do. Um, they're kind of weird that they're kind of one-sided, but that's okay, they'll, they'll work out fine. Um, and so I think, I think I'm gonna like these. Now, of course, I don't wanna put a big giant thing on there. So what I did was I took it over to the bandsaw and I sawed off little sections of three. I, I, I sawed, sawed one of these in half, and then I sawed little sections of three each. And now I've got a little test transistor socket. It's, it's, it's low insertion force, and it's meant for multiple, multiple entries, right? It's, it's, uh, it's meant to be used over and over again. Some sockets are meant to be used once, right? So that you don't have to, have to really do heavy duty plating. Uh, but these are meant to be used over and over. So I think these will be, I think this would be really, really great. The other strange thing about these TO220 packages is the pinouts can vary. The center is usually collector, and it's usually emitter collector base or base collector emitter. So might have to put two on the PC board. Um, yeah, so I think what I want is just a couple sockets um, and then uh, have the PC board match the uh, match the holder here that I've made and it'll have four screws at the ends to hold it on and uh, you'll just wire these five connections up to the PC board and then they'll be all set to go. So let's go design a PC board. Well, it's a pretty simple little board, but this is what I came up with. Um, those five pins at the bottom will connect to these, uh, the row here. Uh, there's two collector pins because it's a Kelvin contact, so I'll short them here. So two uh, collectors, a base, and then two emitters. And they'll go over here to these other transistors, TO5, TO2, TO92, and then I'll have two uh, TO220s of different pinouts, uh, emitter collector base and uh, base collector emitter. So yeah, let's uh, send them off to get built and uh, wait for them in the mail. All right, got some PC boards back. Uh, thank you, PCB Way. Uh, for supporting the channel. Uh, they give me uh, free PC boards and don't ask for advertising, but I give them some some anyway because they deserve it. They give me free PC boards. But they give me this cool little uh, tear off little tabs for uh, marking books and stuff. I actually use these all the time, actually. Uh, they have little uh, little stickies so you can put it on uh, books to keep track of uh, certain pages that you're interested in. So I actually will get use out of these. Uh, so yeah, uh, but let's take a look at the uh, uh, the PC boards themselves. Let's zoom down here. So these are uh, different size transistors, and they are meant to mount to this thing here. So we'll have to uh, take these screws out. I was just putting them in there so I don't lose them.
I did, uh, I probably should just use uh, self-tapping screws for these things instead of uh, these 440 screws. I had to tap the holes and uh, that's kind of silly. I should just get some, uh, I did actually, I actually bought some self-tapping screws. I can't find them. When the uh, junk store was closing down, I bought a bunch and uh, they are in the shop somewhere, but it may be years before I see them. <laughs> All right, look at that. Perfect fit. Don't you love CAD? Uh, both of these were designed in CAD, so uh, you can pick up the dimensions of one and transfer it to the other. And uh, yeah, I'll just put two in just to hold it in place. But yeah, isn't that nice? Won't that be, won't that be lovely? Um, yeah, I should try some, uh, try some sockets out and see how I like it. All right, uh, so I've put um, sockets on all the locations here and I've got some wires and now these wires need to go in here and they go in order. So that will be, that will be easy. I'm going to put some uh, hooks in these wires. Make sure my soldering iron doesn't touch the uh, 3D print. I think it will melt very, very, very quickly. Maybe it's easier to put those wires on first than these, these second, but this is the way that I did it. And we will put some screws in. Call it a day. I think I'll, uh, surprise my friend and give him one of these. Uh oh, where's my screwdriver? Done. It's a beauty. Let's try it out. Oh, 
All right, there we go. We've got uh, a uh, transistor and it's working just fine. And uh, yeah, looks like it's uh, working. You know, I haven't actually tested whether these would fit side by side. I think they will. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine side by side. Uh, in fact, let me, uh, ooh, let me put my fancy one on, on the other side. Yeah, there we go. There's my uh, TO220 on I mean, uh, TO3 on the other side. Look at that. Oh, lovely, lovely. All right, there we go. Um, I think I will spin this one more time. This, there's a couple errors. Um, one, there was supposed to be some silk, silk, silk screen that said a meter based collector, because these two are, are labeled funny. And I had it on the design, but I don't think I had it on the right layer. I don't think I put it on the uh, top silk layer and they didn't show up. So uh, I think I need to, uh, oh, look at that. I touch these guys over here. Um, I think I need to do that. Um, and I think this guy is actually wired backwards. Uh, it's emitter based collector, but a TO220, I mean, this TO92 has it the other way around, so I might want to flip that one. Um, yeah, let's, uh, that doesn't matter. Anyway, I think, I'll, I think I'll spin this board and then I'll put it up on my share site for you guys in case anybody, anybody wants to build this thing. All right, a uh, long journey, but uh, now I can test transistors and I have a nice socket and uh, yeah, everything is happy.